Women empowerment as a concept is related to social, economic, political, and educational development, as well as gender equality. Investing in women's empowerment sets a direct path towards poverty eradication, inclusive growth, and gender equality. Women make enormous contributions to economies, whether in businesses on farms, as entrepreneurs or employees, or doing unpaid care work at home. In fact, empowering women, especially the rural women, has become important issues in the strategies of balanced development with social justice. UN Secretary General Antonio Guterres further underscore how important this concept is when he expressed a strong opinion that women empowerment and gender equality are essential to global progress. Women's empowerment and gender equality are essential to global progress and we are working to achieve parity across the whole United Nations system within a decade. Let us be clear, we cannot build the future we want and achieve the sustainable development goals without the full participation of all women. Nigeria, like most African countries, is a patriarchal society where men hold sway and lay down the rules. Women in most African societies are rarely perceived as partners in development efforts. They, however, comprise the majority of the population below the poverty line and have very often found themselves at crossroads where they have to make compromises and sacrifices for the benefit of all not minding or counting the cost to their personal well-being. Stakeholders are of the opinion that the Nigerian government is lagging behind in this area as there is need to empower women and bridge the poverty line ensuring inclusive growth in the Nigerian society. When a woman is being given the opportunity to acquire any form of skill or trait, they utilize it to the optimum. The more we train women, the better the nation will be. Women are entrepreneurs, women are skilled. The story, however, is changing in Delta State since Senator Kowa's emergence on the political stage as governor of the state. He has shown uncommon strength and character to accord women their pride of place, particularly in governance and empowerment. With the benefit of hindsight, the Okawa-led administration views women empowerment as a sustainable path to inclusive growth in the society. Governor Okawa has employed the vehicle of special policies and programs such as widows' empowerment as well as other benefits aimed at women economic growth. There are a lot of programs that His Excellence have established. If left for the women, they will even call for his state tenor because of the way he has empowered them, making sure that the small scale loans that they need for their business are made available at nothing or road requirements. All the women that have been appointed have all been proving themselves in various appointments that he has given to them. For the women, they are the ones that even cheer him more of equipment. His Excellency Senator Dr. Ifani Okowa has transformed Delta State. We are all certain that we've not had it this good in Delta State. He has empowered a lot of women and which have benefited from tremendously. If you get into the market, everybody's singing his praises because he's done a lot of empowerment for women. Because if you educate a woman, you have educated a thousand people. When you build a woman, like the saying goes, you're building a whole nation. So the governor is building women and I know it's having a positive effect on Delta State. I can tell you anywhere you go, the women are praying for the governor because it's really making an impact on the life of the women. One of such empowerment programs aimed at inclusive growth and wealth creation for women is Women Empowerment Skills Acquisition Program, WESAP, anchored by the Office of the Executive Assistant to the Governor on Women Mobilization and Empowerment, previously occupied by Mrs. Flora Alata, now Commissioner for Women Affairs, Delta State. The women who form the bulk of small and medium-scale enterprises do not have the requisite financial muscle to set up macro-industries. It was for this reason the Okawa-led administration established 
the Office of the Women Mobilization for their development and training preparatory to their empowerment. I wish to formally present this speaking over to you as part of your startup bank. God bless you. This program is going to help me a lot. I had a lot of training from this program and all thanks to God, also to Okowa. From here now, I can do all things that they've trained me for, so I'm very grateful. I don't depend on another person again. I am a director of my own now. When you go to school, you will have a certificate. Then, I didn't go to school and I have a certificate. This is my certificate. I know I'm a madam of my own now. And I say thank you to Okoa for all the things they have done for us. I'm so grateful to God Almighty and to Okoa for making this thing possible for us. I have not seen governor like Okoa before. This is the best governor in my time. I thank God they trained me and I can produce soap, fruit baths, toilet wash, Vaseline, dusty powder, mosquito killers, and so on and so forth. And I will impart this to other young ones that are coming. Some of the beneficiaries, like Grace Ejaroga, who hails from Ayara community, testify about the immense impact the program has had on her, especially the training she received in soap making. The training helped me. After I give money, I can't go market, and go buy the tea so they do the soap. I can't start the business. As a seller, if they give me money to help myself. This program is good to continue because it helps better women. Grace's husband, Mr. Ejaroga, lauded the efforts of the government towards empowering not just women in the state, but mostly those in the rural areas. When she started the day that she came, what chemical started, we all, all of us were just washing until the final production came out. One and zero is not the same thing. So the little you are getting is adding to the economy of the home. It's a laudable idea. We pray the governor should continue. Juliana Okitiakwe and S.A. Iwiwu are both beneficiaries and give kudos to government for the life-transforming program. But S.A., who also owns a fabric store, noted specifically how the soap-making business has assisted in expanding her textile business. I want to thank the governor for what he has done in our life because he helped us save money and help our husband. I'm grateful so much. I'm so very, very grateful. The training where they give us, so he helped me very well. Now from the soap, when are they do? Now that I take gather money. Join the small money where they have before they open this business, when are they do for years? So. And for now, the soap business, they go on. Governor Okowa try away with our body. So may God bless her. May God see, give her more power. May it see a power people. Rose Ukbejoba, whom Smart Delta Media Team met on ground, commended Governor Okowa for the initiative to train and empower women in the state. She hopes to benefit from the program someday. The thing good, it come out so many people from suffering. I wish Governor go fix it, train me, make us see Sabian. I go like and where we are not go come the carry from her. I go just do my own direct. This is our governor so. Na Baba. Na governor when he sabi everything. Governor when he they do make everybody chop. Many at different levels across the state have commended the governor for enhancing the prospect of women in the state, most especially those at the grassroots. <laughs> has done a great job in respect of youth and women empowerment, particularly our women. Yeah. The various youth development programs, the Yager program, the STEP program, you see a reasonable percentage of that program is dedicated to women. We have a micro credit agency that has gone out of our way to regularly empower and give credits to our women. So these programs are geared to empower women. We have done reasonably well. The may God bless the government for the beautiful things the government has been doing for the women. The great thing the government has been doing for the women. Empowering the women to stand on their feet and to reason properly. 
Governor Koa, committed to ensuring all inclusive governance, has also ensured that the women have equal rights and opportunities in terms of participation in the political affairs of the state. To this end, he has been able to appoint women into political offices at different levels in the state. Appoint the woman and you have a stable home. His Excellency's administration stands for total empowerment of women, getting women empowered, encouraging women to play roles in the system, even the spread of uh, uh, appointments. Women have been appointed into credible offices. I don't think women have ever had it so good. His Excellency is a people-oriented governor. When it comes to women, he has not left women out of anything that he does. He ensured that 30% must be given to women. And every local government has at least three, three women as councillors. Even in his cabinet, you have women there. Let us ask my assembly, we still have women. I know that by the grace of God, he is gender sensitive and he will do more. The governor we have, uh, Senator Dr. Atoy Fanyukowa, for who he is, is a, is, is a governor that is gender sensitive and he knows the roles of women in politics and in the society. Smart Delta. Welcome to Delta. My Delta, my Delta. Ah. Welcome to Delta. I Delta, my Delta. Come live in Delta. Come invest in Delta. Come explore the potentials of our state. It better run, run, come. Come to Delta State. Come and see the good things where Okoa is. They do it better. Run, come. Come to Delta State. Come and see the good things where Okoa is. They do I see your job and wealth creation in Delta. Make the youth set them higher. Okoa. I see good roads everywhere in Delta. Make the people set them cooler. Ekuwe Empowerment for the farmers in Delta. Food and quality education in Delta. Well equipped hospitals here yeah. in Delta. And a peace and security in Delta. Come live in Delta. Let me tell you. Come in Delta. In Delta. But I tell you that you are. Come explore the potentials of our state. Let me tell you that you are. Significantly, Governor Fanyo Koa has delved into an area of economic empowerment where no previous administration in the state ventured into. This has to do with widows' empowerment in the state. This was in line with his promise of doing things differently while ensuring prosperity for all Deltans. Senator Koa, since the commencement of the Widows' Welfare Scheme, has enrolled not less than 5,607 less privileged widows across the 270 wards in the 25 local government areas of the state. The state coordinator of the program, Chief Isioma Okunta, while commending the governor for this laudable initiative, noted that the initiative has helped widows financially and lessen health burden of this category of women. This program is for the grassroots. We know that we have a vulnerable segment of this state and even of this nation. That vulnerable segment are the widows. They do not have anybody to care for them. But Okowa understands their plight. That is why this program has come into place to assist these women because they are the vulnerable segment of our society. Chief Okonta further noted that the success of the program was largely due to the financial commitment of government, adding that the team assembled by the governor at the state, senatorial and local government levels to drive the process have been dedicated and effective. The widow scheme has been so much successful. In every local government, there are two coordinators. In every senatorial district, there are two supervisors. And at the state level, we assist them in going around the entire state at the point of every payment to make sure these stipends get to the widows. So this program is geared towards ensuring that the stronger Delta vision of our governor is realized. You will be surprised the sort of impact 
the money that the government is giving to them on a monthly basis during their lives. The women are happier, the widows are happier. They don't feel like they are widows anymore because they are being looked after by this God sent man. Thank the governor for taking care of widows and health care. It makes all the widows to be very happy. It made them contented to live on their own without depending on others. This widow's program is a special one because it takes care of the vulnerable, it takes care of uh, people who are actually in need. And uh, it's doing very well because uh, from local government to local government that will have moved, uh, we we'll see the excitement and the women has elongated their lifespan. Kowa is simply nice, nice to all spheres of deltas. Delta State Government under Senator Okowa has demonstrated its love and care for Deltans, especially the Widows Empowerment Scheme, where a token is given to this vulnerable group every month. This gesture by the government has helped some of these women set up small and medium-scale enterprises, SMEs, which has helped them run their homes and further reduce the burden of unemployment. God is using governor to do in my life and the life of my children. I used to do small, small business. I'm a supplier of Jerry Khan to one uh, company at Worry. It is the help of this money, and I used to benefit from it. I so much thank our governor. Okowa is helping me. He did many things because any, every month he gives us money. We are praying for him every day by day because he's our husband. We widows, we are Jesus' wives. So it's helping us. I thank God for Koa that remember widows because they have never remembered us before. But now they have remembered us. God bless him. Smart Delta Media crew happened to be present during one of the monthly payments of the widow's stipends at Ugeli North Local Government Area. We witnessed how the beneficiaries received their stipends with excitement. Rose Udnokwasa, one of the widows, filled with emotions, talked to Smart Delta Media Team alongside her fellow women who equally benefited. Since I lost my husband, this money was so helpful to me for two years now. I have eight kids, my husband. But with this money, I'm very, very grateful. It helped me a lot. When I ha don't have any money, they will just call us that, ah, madam, your money is ready. Come and take it. Maybe I will not even have anything at home. So I'm very grateful. May God bless him. Bless his family. This program helped me a lot. Since this program came, and we never, never go ask my children, say, now give me money before I eat. Because when I just know, say, my money to finish, go do that. Because I don't send money. So he helped me well, well. See, as I've been, I'm 77 years old. But because of this program, I they look young, younger, younger every day. Honorable Godwin Adode, chairman of the local government council, and Chief Gabriel, one of the community chiefs, bear their minds on the level of impact the program has and still is making in the lives of these indigent women. I will give kudos to the governor for organizing such program for the widows. A lot of the widows today, they are benefiting much from the state government because they pay them monthly, of which they have not done such before. And majority of our people, parents are happy, and traditional lads are happy. Myself, I'm happy. Essentially, they have done well, and I appreciate it. The governor has added life to almost lifeless people. It's a man with a compassionate feeling. From the exception of this state, this is the first time that our widow are enjoying what is called the social welfare scheme of 18. And we want to thank the governor. The governor is a lifter of life. The widows who came out in their numbers from all the wards in the local government area with so much joy and celebration and gratitude to the governor for this kind gesture.
committed to dividends of democracy, the governor has ensured that every form of empowerment reaches the nooks and crannies of the three senatorial districts of the state. On the supervisory tour with the state coordinator and members of the team to Isoko South local government area during one of the monthly payments, Smart Delta Media Team once again witnessed an atmosphere of joy and gratitude. Beneficiaries were unanimous that their lives have changed. Since when my husband died, I was also crying, I've been mean, crying, no helper. Today now, I am praising God for the help that uh, Okoa has rendered to us. It makes me to be higher now. Since Okoa came in, we see more changes in Delta State as a whole. Okoa remember what in the Bible and he called all the widows. The money that our daddy used to give us Okoa, when I collect the money, I will now start to buy some of my children's books. Even at times I will gather the money to buy, join what's in my hand to buy them yes. So I'm so grateful. May God take him higher. And as he's doing to us, let God pay him back double without no counts. Health, they say, is wealth. To this end, as part of the Widow's Empowerment Program, health benefits are embedded. The women enjoy free access to health care services through the Contributory Health Insurance Scheme. His Excellency is helping the widow to ensure that they are healthy by providing for them 5000 every month and a card to go and receive free health care at the health centers and hospitals in the Delta State through the Contributory Health Scheme of the state. It's a very good development because most of the widows they come in with are usually hypertension and DMI. Most of them is very expensive. They are usually very happy about the scheme. It's a big relief financially to them because they now have access to drugs and good services without costs. Anything when you do me now, I go walk out, go there, I'll give them this card. They go treat me and my body go, they fine. Go go breast her. Because since they get governor, never get can governor when they take care of widow. So if they sick, we go go etc. And they go pay all us money every month. When I see them, I say, I'll let salute her, go salute her, tell her, say, God go bless them. And only God, I go really bless them. Mrs. Amadi Obi and Mrs. Angela Odogu and several others who enjoy this free healthcare services testified after the fact. This uh, widow's uh, welfare scheme, we've been enjoying it. They take care of us health-wise. It has helped me in so many angles. I want to say a very big thank you on behalf of the widows because I have not seen such. Since he decided to take care of widows, God will take care of him and his family in the name of Jesus. The governor has been helpful to us, myself, since he entered into office. I've been a beneficiary of his smart project as a widow. Every month, Jesus, I've been going to a hospital for free medical treatment and they'll be attended to us. But I plead that he shouldn't stop because that's been very popular. This program, since where they start, I know they go two years plus now. We just receive this money. Eh? Hungry don't come out for my life. My children at the back gallery, they, they chop away. Okuma don't do many things to give us. Since when Okuma they will not they suffer. We they go hospital free. Our children they go free. Okowa, I do I feel happy. I always they pray for Okowa with your wife, with your children. God go protect and give us. If you say they agree, make it go another year, make it do for 12 years, eh, me I go support her. Because if they come out us from hungry, they come out us from suffer. The Okowa led administration has continued its quest to build a stronger delta through the creation of wealth for its citizenry and called on several empowerment programs targeted at thousands of youths and women in the state. This has not only ensured prosperity for the people, but also enhanced the economic competitiveness of the state.
to Delta State. Come and see the good things where Okoa he they do he better. Run, come, come to Delta State. Come and see the good things where Okoa he they do. I see your job and work creation in Delta. Make the youth say them hila. Okoa. I see good roads everywhere in Delta. Make the people say them cola. Come live in Delta. Tell me I say. Come invest in Delta. Come explore the potentials of our state.